right, that attack was fairly impressive. Here we go! What's going on my fellow Z Fighters, my name is Ziegler Spartan, and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Ball Z Universe. Now before this video gets started, please hit the thumbs up button, let's shoot for 50 likes, I would really appreciate it. Now what I'm going to be showing you is how to get Death Cycle Bomb, which is one of Frieza's moves. What you want to do is go to Parallel Quest number 33, and the winning conditions are defeat all enemies and defeat all revived enemies. Now Death Cycle Bomb is a pretty cool looking move, it's one of Frieza's famous moves that he used against Krillin when they were fighting in Namek. Alright guys, now let's take a look at Death Cycle Bomb, now what I'm going to do is kick Frieza up in the air just so I can see how it looks. Now I haven't used this move before but it's pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, pretty cool. So as you can see right away this is one of the moves that Frieza used against Krillin when Frieza killed Krillin. Now you get 1765 damage and I'm gonna try it with Super Saiyan 3 and you get 1941 damage. Now it's okay damage, it's nothing too big. I wouldn't really use it if I was doing online battles but if you want to look cool or you want to make a if you want to make a class build off of Frieza's moves only because now that I realize it, he has a lot of moves in the game. So right now what I'm going to do is make the AI or the CPU move around so I can see how it looks or how you could use it while they're moving around. Now, as you can see, it doesn't track them at all. So maybe it tracks them only a few seconds, but after that, they could really escape it pretty quickly if they're moving fast enough. Now, as you can see, I stamina bro broke him, but once he gets up, I like missed it, which is pretty dumb. And I'm going to try it one more time. And you can see I catch him. This is... Frieza on easy mode or like easy AI so I'm pretty sure if it was on hard AI it'd be a lot more difficult to land the attack so it it's kind of kind of sucks but it looks pretty cool it's always cool to have one of those iconic moves that Frieza has used against Krillin before now this mission overall is pretty easy nothing too hard all you have to do is fight Vegeta a little bit of Saba man and then after you're finished killing Vegeta then Nappa and Raditz will come once you get enough damage in Nappa and Raditz then Vegeta will revive None of this is hard at all. This mission is pretty easy, so you could have done it by yourself or with some friends if you want to speed through it or use the comm. But this entire mission is pretty easy and it kind of gave me kind of an idea. I think it would be really cool if Bandai would add like a mission where you have to fight every character in the entire game. That would be pretty badass in my opinion because this kind of gives me an idea. You see them fight Nappa, Raiden, and Vegeta, the Cyberman, which are kind of towards the beginning of Dragon Ball Z. And then you progress and then you have to fight Frieza and Captain Ginyu and some of Frieza's minions like Apul or Groupin or whatever their names are. So I thought it was pretty cool and I think they should add like an entire parallel quest where they have to fight everybody in one quest and it should be like the longest quest ever and one of the hardest ones maybe they could make it a raid where you fight every character at a very powerful state and then you have to have like six characters like how you would in an expert mission fight all of them all at once so as you can see once you defeat captain ginyu a little bit or you do damage frieza will come in full power mode or wait never mind he's not in full power mode he'll just revive and then you have to defeat him now after you're done with Frieza you're gonna go to fight Cell as you can see I'm fighting Cell now and none of this is too hard as you can see I'm like pretty close to killing them and it only did like a small combo now you get the warning sign and Cell Jr. comes once you defeat one or if you do enough damage to Cell Jr. then Cell Senior or the perfect Cell will come back and he'll get revived and then you're gonna have to kill him one more, one more time as you can see he revives now new enemy and then you get Super Frieza or Super Frieza and then you get Super Vegeta which looks pretty cool in that suit he has the first battle suit that he's ever worn and he's in Super Saiyan mode which is pretty badass and then you have to fight full power Frieza now this entire mission is a piece of cake it took me about five minutes ultimate finish you get Z rank or S and then you get death cycle bomb Alright guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos and like and comment. Please leave a thumbs up. Let's shoot for 50 likes. I would really appreciate it. And if you haven't already subscribed, I post daily content to my subscribers. A big thank you and I'll see you guys later.